see the New Orleans Pelicans facing the Golden State Warriors. 2K Sports is proud to present NBA Basketball. Alongside Steve Kerr and Clark Kellogg, this is Kevin Hart. The starting fives for our game here on tonight's starting lineups. And guys, what do you think we'll be seeing from Stephen Curry in this one? Well, we all know that Curry is a tremendous shooter, just like his father. Quick release, pinpoint accuracy, deep range. But what I like about Curry is his passing ability. Such a good playmaker and tremendous court vision. And the thing I like, Steve, is Steph's not just a spot-up shooter. He can create his own shot off the dribble. And he makes tough shots on the move. Pelicans ended up being the name that New Orleans chose when it was all over. And I like the new-look uniform, but they had some other options as well that sounded pretty good to me. How about the brass? Because it gives nod to the music that New Orleans has popularized. McKean dishes to Green. Curry against Holland. Curry kicks to Durant. Golden State moving the ball around. Six to shoot. A fadeaway. And it's off the back rim. No good. Well, definitely a nice sounding name. Other options were the Swamp Dogs, the Bull Sharks, the Mosquitoes. Uh, you know, Steve, all in all, you have to think they went uh, the right way with the Pelicans. I don't know. My personal favorite was the Rougarou. Uh, <laughs> his first foul. First quarter just over a minute played. Not watching the line there. That'll be a backward violation. So it's the Warriors now. Thompson outside. Durant attacking. Durant with another miss. They really depend on him to convert those chances. A lot of times, even with solid D draped on him, they expect him to make it. Holiday with it. Guarded now by Durant. That's good. Well, you just can't give them that kind of position in the post. I'll tell you what, when he gets it in that tight, he's going to bury those. Curry against Holiday. There's Green with the three. Warriors the rebound. Thank you, Durant. Fader on the way, and he gets it to go. Durant's got his first points in this one. Whatever their plan was defensively that time, it, it didn't work. Not if it results in that. And it's Davis finishing it off. You can see the eye contact there. Gave a little nod and then burst to the rim for the alley-oop slam. No doubt, Clark. A pair of teammates with a terrific feel for each other out on the floor. Mm -hmm. And what a play to make it a close game. A potential momentum builder. Kevin Durant is one of the most laid-back and easy-going guys you'll meet in the NBA. But don't be fooled. He's as fiery a competitor on the court as anyone else in the league. He's a superstar because he has the talent but also the drive. First one drops. And I think when he talked about the drive for Kevin Durant, Mark, it all comes from his love of the game. I love watching Kevin Durant play. He is such a special talent. And you can see the inherent joy that he has in playing the game. I mean, it's palpable. It's obvious. He's a big-time gym rat. And he just loves to work on the game and continue to refine his skills. He's a joy to watch. And it's slammed in by Davis. Six changes of the lead here. Yeah, no team able to build a big lead early on. I mean, it's tight. What do you think, Steve? Well, both teams still kind of feeling each other out here. And uh, neither team has been able to, to find an edge in this game. And the Warriors with possession here. Following the score by New Orleans, Curry gets the bucket. You can't leave him alone, especially from long range. Moore outside. 
it to Gaskey. And there's the feed to Holiday. Pass to Davis. Second chance effort. And he gets contact and the whistle on the shot. Two shots coming up. You know, even from here, you can see that one pretty clearly. Yep, pretty obvious. And a good call by the official. Pelican shooting their first shots from the free throw line tonight. Well, you look back at a season ago, this is a club that made 78% of its shots from the free throw line, so very comfortable with that strike. You know, success at the line just became contagious for them. A few guys got on the roll, and it carried over to the rest of the team. You know, the Warriors made big strides last year, and part of it was a retooling of the team, but they also got a lot of help from the group of rookies that they had, and a number of those rookies played prominent roles down the stretch and in the playoffs. Green against Davis. Right side Durant. Tires from 14. Can't get it to go. Excellent D there from Moore. Well, Clark, as you said, the Warriors did lead on their rookies as the season went on. Four of them in all, with three coming in the draft and one walking on the roster. Big help, Steve, from them in the opening round of the playoffs. Yeah, pretty remarkable that a team could do that well in the postseason, relying on so many rookies, but it speaks to their maturity, their character, the group they've put together. And it's very promising in terms of their long-term success. He had his choice of finishing moves there, and he just got to love the fact he went old school with the finger roll. And it's out of bounds to the Pelicans. For New Orleans, they've gotten only one of their first six shots to fall today. Holiday, the pass to Moore. The dish now to Cousins, stolen by McGee. Outside curve. Outside, green. Nice jump shot from the top of the key. And that first time out of the game called for New Orleans. Raymond Green was really a terrific legacy of success prior to the NBA, guys. I mean, he led Sacramento.